So this video is sponsored by Pionex, one of the exchanges I use all the time. It's one of the main crypto brokers to Binance, so the volume is very high. The main thing that sets them apart though is that you can use free trading bots, a variety all designed to benefit from different market behaviors, whether that's up, down or sideways. You'll get 20% off all your trading fees for life with my link in the description. And if you join the Telegram, a lot of us already use it, so if you've got questions, we can try and help you out. Hello everybody, welcome back. So a quick video on EOS. There's not much to say about EOS. It's a very simple uh, simple deal going on here, basically. So unlike previously, when we had a very strong setup coming out of a consolidation vibe, uh, just uh, in, 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 this is why I brought EOS onto the channel. This is why I was talking about it in the first place. So we go back in time, we have a very clear um, uh, consolidation uh, that, that basically came to an end and we went into a volatile but predictable I suppose range of accumulation uh, more or less around the, the moving averages that's basically the best way to do it to, to go about it you can you can go uh, in at the bottom you can go in at the top or you can go in at the middle but basically the consolidation was over there was a few other aspects of this chart which which made this really bullish one being the conversion baseline on the weekly um, which basically if it was for the market pulling back in May, this would have probably continued into the 20s and God knows where from then. Um, again, we've got to sh show the uh, the conversion baseline here. So that's the, that was the signal. So we got dumped down into it, and then at this point forward, it was all game on the weekly, and we led on to uh, to make some new highs there. Um, but we don't have any of that right now, and um, I've been saying it for a while. All we've got right now is a consolidation, not even a consolidation. I mean, an accumulation vibe. We've got this rounded bottom uh, um, of support, which has been going on since uh, since well, basically basically the bull market began. Uh, this is one of those tokens like XRP that didn't really benefit from the bull market when it began in 2019, had its own thing going on. And uh, and this is why I, may, I suppose it's interesting uh, and also frustrating for other people who want to try and trade this. And I appreciate that it's pretty crap as well. Let's, let's face it, it's pretty crap. Um, it's not uh, it's not the uh, the moon boy token that uh, people uh, you know gravitate towards, but that, that's fine. But when it comes to a simple game of uh, risk to reward, um, last night we were blessed with uh, a lot less risk than reward. Um, so um, basically the rounded bottom got tagged last night on that pullback and doesn't mean that that's the be all and end all. The rounded bottom is only a rounded bottom, it's not It's not uh, indestructible. We have had little wicks below it and again, you know, we can make these fit to, uh, you know, you know they, 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 they don't have to play out in any specific way. It's just one little thing that we're looking at here, but so far for the the last couple of years it, it has held relatively well and probably will hold continue up there to hold so we were blessed with that opportunity to buy that dip or long that opportunity yesterday now does the market continue to pull back i think it probably will so will we get another opportunity like this well, yeah we might do will we get another wick that, that goes lower than that yeah we could we could definitely we could we definitely could so it's not the be all and end all um, but what I would say that it likely is, is that it is likely to be the closest opportunity you would get to buy a, 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 a low for a token which is likely to go higher. So is, a, on a simple game of risk to reward, the risk is a lot less here, specifically here, then the reward. The reward could only be, well, yeah, it depends on your risk tolerance, really. You could sell it at the next major resistance, which would be $5. You could wait for the next major resistance, which would be about $7. You could wait for that to break, hopefully, and get up to 10 maybe maybe even 11 maybe 13 14 who knows, maybe $1 billion, which is, you know, I'm sure some... Some YouTube channels will be touting that sort of thing, you know, that mad, ridiculous kind of thing. But uh, on a simple basis of risk to reward, uh, we were given the opportunity last night to uh, to try our luck on EOS if we wanted to. And that's a simple uh, trade strategy. Again, just to reiterate, there is no bullish setup here. There is no bullish setup. There's nothing about this chart which is bullish. So let's face it, it's not a bullish chart. But when you're buying bottoms, bottoms aren't bullish, right? You can't say, oh, that's a bullish looking bottom. Because essentially what you're doing on a, on, on a bottom is buying an extreme low. You're not going to have a bullish bottom. There's no such thing. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't exist. You go, whoa, look at those lower lows. That's bullish. I mean, to an extent, I could say that, all right, given what I've said here, which is that you've got a, a rounded bottom of support that's, that's several years long, 
held pretty much on the on the dot every single time we came down to retest it so i suppose in a way you could say that is a bullish bottom but it's not a bullish chart it, that, just because we came down to tag it doesn't mean that we're going to go to you know 25 dollars or whatever it is that you know is potentially a, a realistic target i'm not saying that that's where it's going to go i'm just saying that it's not unrealistic to suggest that we go to 20 dollars or so but the chart doesn't say that that's where it's going to go the chart just says, all right, if you want an entry point, there's no better place than to try it on a long-standing support, which has held for, what, since 2019 yeah, until just yesterday. You know, we've tagged it you know, countless times. You know, so many times it's been tagged and had a decent reaction from it. And again, at this point now, I mean, the rounded bottom is facing up. So the support the support band that we're looking at here is, a, is technically an uptrend. So... You know, like I say, there's nothing more to it than that. Uh, for those who want to know about EOS, uh, EOS has always been a part of this channel since uh, we, I started touting it around here, well, for obvious reasons. And then since then, I suppose it's just stuck, and people want to know about EOS, like I'm some kind of, um, I don't know, some promoter of EOS, or in some kind of way affiliated with EOS. Uh, previously, EOS was amazing. It was a great setup, and it worked out pretty well. Since then, it's not had a setup. This is the best we can do. Uh, but still, as far as risk to rewards concerned. Then it's pretty good, um, but where's its destination? Well, you've got to take it level by level. It's accumulation right now, and you know we are potentially sort of a, at a dicey period in, in, in time. But I, I do think that altcoins are going to have a good run um, and start to run from the end of this month into next month. Well, that sounds pretty controversial, despite having these pullbacks right now. But I still think that that is the case. So with that in mind, you know, risk to reward. Well, why not try a bit of EOS? Like I say, I'm not a financial advisor. This is certainly not financial advice. Um, anyone who wants to advise financially on EOS um, is probably not the greatest financial advisor anyway <laughs> because there's a lot of other things you could go for which would probably yield more. Uh, however, when buying lows, when buying bottoms, nothing ever looks bullish, like I say. Uh, and this doesn't look bullish but when it comes to a, a relatively good entry point, I suppose this is it. Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.